Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and welcome back to Getroy Tips. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix the window security or virus threat protection page is not available on your windows and how we can fix this up. So let's follow the steps in the video. So without wasting any time, let me directly get into this step. So the first one, we just need to go over here, search for registry editor, just search this one and click on this one. Before that, there is one more thing that I forgot. Just search for registry editor and go over here and click on to run it as an administrator. Go for yes. Now expand this. Just go over here in the H key local machine and we have to what we need to do is after that, just go over here. Now we need to go to over here in the H key local machine. Now from here, we have to navigate to software. We need to expand this. Now from here we have to navigate to policies and we have to navigate to the Microsoft and we have to go over here and you can see there is an option called Windows Defender and we have to expand this, we have to select this. And right now over here in the Windows Defender this is how it looks like. Now what we need to do is we just need to go over here in the blank right click, go for new and click on D word 32 bit value. So we are giving a new value here. So what we need to do is we just need to type like this, that is disable. Make sure that you type the same way anti spy. Sorry, you have to type anti spy. Type like this anti spy where you have to type like this. This is very important. You have to type exactly the same. Make sure the D is capital and A is capital here. You have to type disable anti spare where right click and over here. The value data should be zero. You have to cross check whether it is zero or not. If it is zero, zero, you're fine with it. If you're not zero, you have to make sure it is zero. Now go for okay and you have to check. Next one is all about, we need to give another value. That is just go over here, go to new, go to D word 32 bit value. And here we have to give another value. That is we have to type disable, type disable real time monitoring you have to type real type monitoring real time monitoring and what we need to do is once you give the value just go over here give the value and we have to uh, give this particular value and you have to double click make sure the value is zero now go for okay once the value is being set once the value is being every value is being set just close this go over here in the start click over here and do a restart once the restart is done, most probably the issue will be completely fixed. If not, we have to try the next one. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to move to the uh, this particular step. Just go over here in the PowerShell, search for the PowerShell and click on run as an administrator. Go for yes. Now we just need to go over here, go to this particular page and here we have to copy this, copy this value and we have to paste this value and we have to press enter. And once afterwards, this will take a little bit of time and we need to wait. And you have to press enter and this process is done this will take some time so once the process is completely done we just need to go over here go to the start click over here and do a restart once the restart is done we can check and most probably they should be completely fixed and that's what you have to do and i hope this quick video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon next video peace out bye bye